Hello and welcome to Lawrence Plays Factorio Angel Bobs. This is episode 7 and at the end of the last episode I was trying to set up Jeeva light mining and sorting and smelting and everything else but when I got rather rudely attacked by a bunch of biters so from at the start of this episode I'm going to rush off and try and deal with those. Let's see how it goes. I was going to get that up and running but uh, I guess I'm going to have to go and put up another wall and deal with some more biters. Across here a good place? I kind of want to go from here just more or less the bottom of that lake. Go all the way across here. That's an immense wall, though. Let's get some more wall before I try that. I suspect this 462 is not going to be enough. That was not quite what I meant. Yeah, so if I put a massive wall across down at the bottom of that lake, going all the way across, it'll give me an early warning when they're attacking, and it'll tell me where they're coming, trying to get through. Both of those bits of information, then I'll be able to build up more appropriate defences which means turrets in the place where they're trying to get through and then fewer turrets along the rest of it I suppose uh, can I build some more grenades? can I build some more grenades? no, not enough, not enough to be worth it, just going to have to go through this forest the old fashioned way I hope everyone is enjoying this episode of Lawrence Plays the Lumberjack I have so much rubbish in my inventory I hope this is the right level, no of course it's not should I care? I care too much. <laughs> I remember one of the long reach mods I played with in the past had long reach for building and possibly mining, I don't remember, but it didn't have long reach for chopping down trees, which made it one of the things that you most want long reach for, it didn't do. Fortunately this one is more um, complete, should we say. Oh, nearly there. Of course, sometime in the not too distant future, my main bus is going to get down this far, and I'm going to end up having to pull up half of this wall in order to um, in order to build my bus through it. Maybe by then I'll have some better defences, and I'll be coming through to upgrade it anyway. I don't know. Oh, this is a this is definitely a grenade-worthy forest. More. Don't really want to shoot my way through all these trees. It's even more inefficient. Or is it? Yeah, it probably is. I oh, know that did go down. What the hell? How, how? I've just built a wall across here. They shouldn't be able to get at that, those. Where are they coming from? Oh, is there another alien nest somewhere inside my wall? I... Yes, I know, I know. Stop eating everything. Is there another alien nest somewhere inside my walls that I don't know about? How do I even get there? Interesting that they went for all this stuff. Right, what am I looking for? What am I looking for? It's been destroyed. That obviously. Those. It's saying like twelve or so things have been destroyed. I've not found that many. That worries me. Oh, but it'll be some of this belt. There we go. That's part of the problem. Uh, right. Jeeva lock goes in there. Crushed stone. No, crushed stone goes out on on out here. Oh, I didn't like that. That can go in there. <coughs> that can go in there. Stereotype. No, not in there. That's crushed stuff. That can go in there. Crushed sapphire can go in there. Crushed bobmonium goes in there. Saf uncrushed sapphire goes in there. Stereotype in there. Jeevalite in there. Right, that's created a bit of space in the inventory. So where'd they come from? Where did those biters come from? There's a wall all the way across here. That should be impenetrable. If they come from over there, surely they'd have stopped off to snack on some of this on the way past. There's some red marks there on the radar, on the not actually radar. Let's make a radar and put it over here. Maybe that'll uh, shed some light on it. Let's try that again, but putting it somewhere where it's actually got power. There we go. There we go. That's the problem. Right, so yeah, it turns out they were actually behind my walls. <laughs> that shows a bit of a lack of um, checking these things out carefully from my point of view, but um, oh well, at least I've worked out why I was coming under an unexpected attack now. Claim the spoils. Nom 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 nom. Are there any more surprises waiting on this in this area? Yes, there's a spitter down there. There we go. Okay, that seems okay otherwise. Let's get some military science on the on the go. Uh, then I can work out what I want to spend that on. Okay, so this is going 
I guess it's going. <laughs> so I think my next step is to get this up and running. And I think that's probably going to be a good time to call it an episode because I've been play playing for two hours now. Um, quite a lot of that I've been deliberately keeping quiet so that I can turn it into, um, uh, so that I can cut it out and just have a, a few minute silence while I run around and sort stuff out. But there's only so much, so much speeding up I can do before it just looks like um, I don't know, a cartoon or something. So let's get this finished off, hopefully without any more unpleasant surprises from the biters, and then we'll call it. I'm going to run out of inserters again. I'm going to run out of resources for making inserters as well, so let's just get this side up and running as well then, shall we? And whatever I can over here. And then, oh, I need more power poles. Yeah, that can't reach. One there, one there, one there, one there. There. Okay, I'll let these run for a minute to get an idea of what sort of capacity all these machines have. Why is this stopped? The bite is eating this as well. Yes, they have. Okay. Given the output buffer capacity of the um, of the furnaces, I can just let this run for a few minutes and uh, try and get a feel for what the uh, the ratios are like. And in other words, where I need to have more something. It looks like the ore sorter is by far the slowest point of this, um, this system, and there's a lot more room for improvement there, but I don't have the resources to build one. Okay, I think I'm going to call it an episode there. It's been um, a bit hectic, I've been running around doing a lot of different things. Let's have a look at what we've achieved, shall we? So, I've um, expanded out my my borders, both top and bottom. Well, I haven't quite finished that one because stuff started happening, things started getting eaten. Um, <laughs> Expanded the borders out. I've got ammunition running down here. I didn't really add anything onto my um, automation here apart from the mining. I've got Jiva light mining going on here and sorting and so on. I spent a lot of time thinking about steel, but no, no time actually. Well, I haven't actually managed to make any yet because that requires things that are beyond the beyond the wit of man. It looks like I'm going to have to delve into Angel Petrochem. I've heard horrendous things about that. So um, that's going to be something for later. But for now. I'm going to call that an episode. I'll see you next time, and thank you for watching.